Hi. Oh, that's good. Hello, my loves. My name is Apollo Icarus Androgynous. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi. If you're back, why? Today, I'm finally doing some sewing. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to it. Oh, my mum's talking to the neighbour. I've got these two sewing patterns from an Etsy shop which basically repatterns old patterns and I cannot wait to show you guys what I'm gonna make. The two patterns in question are from the vintage pattern shop on Etsy. They are a nice shirt and a darling dress. Hopefully, do not make a mess of things because I often do that quite a lot. What do you think of the suit? I don't know. This is another bit of my merchandise, a nice uh, Queen of Virium drawing. I'm just very happy. I finally found what size suit I am. And now I'm just like, all the suits. Without further ado, let's get into the pattern and into the workroom, which I have to apologize for first. It's not as aesthetic as this room. This room is my happy place of warm tones and plants and art and yeah, the other room ain't. Yellow. Also sorry about the sunlight. I cannot do anything about that because my little babies need it for photosynthesis. Also the blinds have stopped working in this room, so that's great. So I'm just gonna be blinded by the sun. Burns, it burns us. Oh, precious, it burns us. I'm in need of some serious psychiatric help. For quick and kind of easy, I hope, I'm gonna do the McCall pattern first, which is the blouse. Circa 1938. It's a bust of 36 inches, which ain't in me, because I'm transgender and I do not have the chest anymore. I do not have a bust, so I'm gonna have to do some alterations, but eh, part of life. For the fabric, I've got this beautiful olive green sheer fabric. I'll put what it really is on the screen, I'm sorry, I'm an awful person, I can never remember. The moment I close the window so I can film, it is so stiflingly warm in this room. And it's February, not even March yet, so cool. Okay, right, I'm going to be doing number A, but first I need to cut out my fabric. This is the sort of fabric I hate, but I also love when it's on my skin. It's really floppy. This is not gonna be fun to work with, but look at it. Maybe at one point you guys will be actually to see what I'm doing. The sunlight is uh, being persistent today. So let's cut out the sleeve first. Let's get the fabric scissors. The fabric. Can I rip this? Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, yeah. Best thing about carpets. So you can pin your fabric to it. Especially if your fabric is one of those fabrics that just moves everywhere. Mm -hmm. That can go there. Well, there's a lot of centre back stuff going on. The day shall come when I finally use the work table like a normal human being. But hey, not this day. Instead, I am a floor gremlin at all times. Because why use a table? when you can use the floor. It's nature's table. This fabric will be the death of me. First instruction, it seems to be in the instructions, 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 
is to sew the pleats, but because I'm altering this from my chest, which is definitely not a female chest, I'm gonna basically baste the pleats shut and then I will sew them later once I've got a better understanding of how this will fit on my body. So, had some issues. The ruffling, the kind of ruching, finger bobbing, whatever, it got a little bit weird. But I've attached the two front pieces to the yoke and I've French seamed it so the edges are held within. But it's just not hanging very flat. I'm hoping that once I get sleeves and a collar onto it, it will hang flat. I've given it a good press, but we shall see. morning how are you it's day two of this little project the outside's being very noisy today how dare today i'm going to keep on sewing hopefully i can get to the sleeves today we shall see if not oh well i'm not on a deadline which is very nice for once let's get going and get into the sewing footage Please forgive the sound of the outside, it is very, very warm today. So I've just finished doing the buttonholes and I've done a god awful job. And now the instructions say to sew the sides together and then attach the collar. So that's what I'm gonna do next. I have already made a few mistakes. I forgot to sew the top bits together before putting it to the yoke. Oh well, we'll see if I can make it work, and um, I really love this fabric, but I really hate working with it. Okay, so I'm going to take a break, have a bit of a tea. This is where I've gotten to so far. I've sewed the back to the yoke and I've also sewn the back pleats together. I'm having a bit of trouble getting this to lie flat. I don't know what to do about it. I'll just, yeah, whatever. I still have trouble with the top pleats here. Don't know what to do about that either, but I've sewn in the buttonholes and I will eventually sew in these pleats as well. And yeah, the next job is the collar. The collar itself is here, but I've only got the one that I did with interfacing. I need to cut out another collar and then I'll sew those together, flip them inside out and then sew it onto the neckline, which will be fun. Oh, so beautiful in the sunshine. Good morning. It is day three of the sewing project and things, my friends, are not going to plan whatsoever. Overnight, I decided to sew on the rest of the buttons. And yes, the buttons are a bit big, but that's all I had. And I split open the buttonholes. It's 
not looking great on me but what I've done to try and calm down the stitches is I've added some little detail work to the top of some of the lining so it lays flat. I'm hoping against hope that when I put the sleeves on it will all make sense and I still have yet to actually create the pleats at the front of the shirt but I'll do that last before hemming the bottom I'm pretty sure. Anyway let's get going because if I have to spend another day I almost put that on the fire. Great. Today is going amazing. If I have to spend another day on this project I might just lose my mind. Good morning lovely people. It's now day four of this project and I did not think it would take me this long but here we are and there's nothing I can really do about that. <sighs> At least it's keeping me sane during lockdown. I wanted to show you how I've got to. There are sleeves. The only thing I didn't show you guys was me attaching the sleeves to the bodice. That's because I really struggle with sleeves and I get really really angry while doing them and sure enough I managed to sew both sleeves on perfectly and then realized they were on the wrong arm so that was great it made me feel very what like productive and worthwhile now all that's left is I decided to take out the whip stitches holding the proposed pleats from the pattern yeah those pleats did not work within my shape so I'm going to come up with a solution and possibly pleat these in like that we shall see and then the last thing to do is do some buttonholes on the cuffs and buttons and then just hem it and then we've got ourselves a 1940s blouse this should be fun The light is dropping pretty quick, so I think I'm going to try and make this quick. I've really enjoyed making this. I hit quite a few snags that I didn't think I was going to hit. It took a lot longer, mainly because the type of fabric I used was so finickety. But I'm very happy with how it turned out, considering I had a few issues. The first of all is that the buttons don't entirely line up. Uh, well, And the other is that I... Um, while ironing this I might have burnt like a patch of it and caused the, the fibre to melt because this has got plastic in it which is not my favourite thing but 
it's what I had on hand. But apart from that, I love this pattern. I'm gonna be making more of these for my wardrobe, most definitely, and it's just been such a fun project. Especially since it's the first time I think I brought any of you guys along with me while I sew. It was very interesting to film, mainly because I tend to film at the mid, like, dead of night in my pyjamas and I look like a gremlin, and I don't usually want people to look at me when I'm like that. So this was interesting, this was an interesting experiment. I hopefully have more to show you in the coming weeks, but for now, I hope you have a lovely day and I shall see you soon. Bye bye.